Hi, my name's Martin. I'm just going to give you a uh, video handover before your vehicle goes for valet. So we'll start on the outside and work our way around. Obviously, this is the habitation door. Got some additional locks on there. And these are the events for your fridge. This is where, if you're running on gas, you'd see a little gas lit in there if you remove the cover. And don't be alarmed if this is a little bit warm because this is where the heat exchanges and heat will be coming out of here. You've had um, two gas bottles put on into there. It can carry on We're working on the back one. Obviously, you turn it on by turning the top of the bottle and it's into the regulator that's already there. Moving on into here, we've removed, these, we've removed these little bits from the front of the cab because you're going to have some additional work done. Obviously you've ordered one of these. This is your tool kit for the vehicle. This is obviously your spare wheel. And then if you can see over there, we'll show you the other side as well, it's, you've got your carpets. And just here is your awning handle, which we're going to use now. Obviously this is telescopic. So, it's a required height. The length of the one. So that there, just wipe it out. To a point where you can get to the legs. These legs, I want a little bit of a spring load on there. Just push that, that will come out. Foot to the bottom. Put it down to where you like, and once you've got it to the point that you want, just lift that up and push it and lock it in. Obviously, do that at both ends, and to, to put it away, pull the button down, pull the leg up, push the leg back in there, make sure the foot is to the back, and just where it's a little bit of pressure, just push that like that, and it sits behind them too. Obviously, wind it away. Leave it stuck in here now. When you wind it away, quick push up and turn, and it will come out. Moving around to the back, we have a camera on the back of the vehicle. And then this is the other side of the uh, garage door. As I say, your carpets are all in there. This is where your toilet is. You open it up. To remove the cassette, you just push that little button there and it comes out. If you're full and you wanted to empty it, you turn that round. Turn that round, take the top off, press the button there, and obviously it would be into the emptying space. Once you put it back in, just push it back in, it locks in, job done. Just under here, this is where your waste will come out and your waste key is kept in here. So obviously you put your waste key on there, turn it that way, and then it releases all the water out of there. This is your uh, Truma boiler outlet. If you're running on gas, don't be alarmed. If there's a little bit of heat coming out in, a little bit of condensation, this is where it all comes from, when, certainly when it's on gas and on a cold morning. This is where you plug your 240 in if you're on site. Um, that's where that goes. If, if you're filling water, you need to have this little wheel can you see that little wheel there? Turned, locked down. That will allow you to put water into here and fill it up. This is a frost protector valve here. The blue one, it has a little button at the bottom that needs to be pushed in. And then obviously, if you can see around the corner there, there is a yellow one. The yellow one is for your um, gas boiler to empty the water in the boiler. As it's showing on here, it says 110 litres or 20 litres. If you let all the water out on this valve here, 
it will keep 20 litres into your water tank so you can have it for um, toilet and kettle and, and that for drinking up while you're on a on a trip so you're not carrying them all the 110 litres. All your fuses and everything for the vehicle are all in here and your solar panel regulator obviously there's nothing hopefully you'll have to do with any of that. Um, just moving on into the bonnet if you want to go under the bonnet check your oil and water just pull that like that that opens the bonnet once under here we have the oil dipstick which is there you have your brake fluid which is that one you have your header tank for your radiator which is this one and just under this one here is your power assisted steering to gain access to the top of these undo these three little turn screws lift that cover off and you'll see the caps that you put your water and your fluids in in the corner here you have your windscreen wash just in there now going into the habitation area you have a button here for your step to come out. Just above your door you have your control panel or one of the control panels. This signifies that you're plugged into 240 electric. This signifies the 12 volt is on by the orange amber lights. This is your vehicle battery and this is your habitation battery just shows you what levels are in there. This is your fresh water and this is your waste water. This is your pump. You will not get any water to go through any of your taps unless you turn the pump on. Moving on to here, all your appliances have been tested. You have gas on the gas top. And they're all working. Just underneath it, you have a fridge. And to turn the fridge on and off, you have the button there. This has, uh, it should signify it's on 240 to change that. Keep your finger on there and you can change it into gas. That's automatic, um, that's electric and you can have battery. The battery will be flashing like that because it isn't registering a battery till the vehicle is running. This will only work when the vehicle is running. If you have it on the A, the A is um, automatic. And that also that basically means it will it will use the best source present. So obviously at the moment the best source is present is um, electric. So that's why it's on there. If the electric there was a power failure, that would drop and your gas is on. It would drop onto gas. And when you start the engine up and unplug your electric and you're moving off site, it would then drop onto battery if the engine's running. On here, hopefully you'll be able to see, I'm not sure if you will. Give it a little second or two and then you'll have hot water come through. We've had the hot water on on the boiler, which I'll show you in a minute. There you go, just, just hot water, it's just coming through now. It should be all right. Yep, I don't know if you can see, can you see the steam on there or not? Moving on to the boiler here. You have your Truma panel here and uh, basically you turn it on with the middle button this is on at the moment if you would like to set your temperature you just click on the icon of the little van flashing there so the, yeah I want to use that click onto that roll it around to anything up to 30 degrees to obviously nothing which is off this one is your water temperature you can have it on hot which we've got it on the moment eco or off so obviously off is off eco is 40 degrees which gets rid of all the badness in the water um, that's a minimum you can heat it up to hot is 60 degrees which is obviously nice and hot and obviously if you run out of hot water you can put it on to boost at any point if you press the middle on each one it will go to it so we're going to be on hot this is the source that you're going to use so at the moment we're running on electric two which is uh, electric with two elements each element is worth uses about 900 watts of uh, electricity 
So we're running on two of them, so you're using 1800 watts. You can um, change to one element, obviously that's the same, but you're just using one element, so you're using 900 watts. You can use mixed two, which is two elements and gas. You can have mixed one, which is one element and gas, or you can have out and out gas. This little icon here signifies we're plugged into the wall. And if you move on to this one, this is obviously the heating. It's that it's very warm today, so it won't, it's not working at the moment. But the econ, eco means it's just a very small circulation of air, or you can turn it to high, and high will bring a better fan on, obviously, for when it's cold weather. All of them, if you want to turn any of them off at, all, at any point, just roll it around to there, turn it to off, go to the next one, water, turn it to off. And to, and to get rid of it and turn the whole panel off, push in the middle till it says off. And that's it turning itself off now. You have um, each bed, under each bed, you have a little wardrobe, but you can actually lift these up if you want to get underneath them. And in this cupboard, just at the bottom there, Up. You have your 240, 240 sockets just here. This is your RCDs, and that's for uh, if you have your electric 240. If there's anything goes wrong, they'll drop out, and you'll need to turn them on there. This side's just the same, obviously. You've got your extra bits for your bed makeup. You've got a, you've got a. Um, wardrobe here and the handle comes out so if you if you close on there it's a little bit easier to get them off push that down all your windows and blinds have a blackout blind and a fly net obviously these, these open up by being there make sure when you're in traveling that this is in front of this bar when you open it push that in open it and it opens a bar Moving on into the toilet, this is a combined area in this one. Your shower is behind the back of here. This is your shower unit with a curtain that comes across. When you're not using the shower, stow it away. Little flip over, keeps it for traveling purposes. You have a flush toilet in here. It has a swivel, swivel top position where you like. Obviously it has a little flap here open it to you to use once you've done finish what you're doing flush the water and the water will flush down once done and that's all done shut the flap when the cassette is full which i showed you outside when we pulled it out there's a little button here will illuminate and it will show that that's the fullest you want to have your um, cassette toilet Um, there is a TV bracket on here, um, which obviously if you need to use a TV. This is your table, there's a little button underneath here. If you want to pull your table around and have more people to use it, it can actually sit there. This will come out and it will make it. To make the bed, pull that away. Your table leg comes in half and this undoes and drops onto the next rail down and then the two bits that are in here go onto the table they lay on the table once it's down like that and they obviously all make the rest of the bed up here underneath this seat here you have your habitation batteries which are down there which have been charged off the solar panel as i said earlier when not in use that will come away if you're using it to sit on you can pull it out on into the blinds in the front slightly different to the back ones you just pinch them in all the way down that shuts them once you're done pick them back home this one comes across here has a little bit out for the mirror 
and this one comes across here and then stuff onto that there. Obviously self-explanatory radio in there. Um, make sure you push that back. Um, this is your heating facilities in the front in the cab. This is for how fast you want the fan to go. This is the temperature you want it to go. That's air com. This is whether you want it to recirculate or fresh air in from outside. This is self-expansive. If you want it at your face and you want it at your feet, or if you want it all the way to your on the dash uh, windscreen. Obviously, it's uh, automatic. You have a camera facility on this one that's just on the, on all the time in this one. It's just a rear, as a rear view camera. Um, you have your lights on this stalk here. Which once they're on, they're on dip beam. Pull it towards you for main beam. Pull it again to release it. This little stick here has, um, if you turn it down, you have speed limiter. You set the speed limit and it will just ping at you when you're going above the speed that you've set. If you turn it this way, you'll see a little icon on there. And it, that's for your um, cruise control. Once you set your cruise control on that, on the end of this stick. Now, this one is your wipers and your sprayer. So you push it up for the wipers, push the end. You have a little... You have a little trick computer on here, so if you press the end of the wiper one, it tells you the range that's left in it, tells you the distance travelled, tells you how far it is to home. Um, it'll go through and you have trip A and trip B on these vehicles. So you can set them all the way to naught. Then it'll go all the way back through trip A and trip B and it'll end back up on the date. Um, as I say, that's your camera there. Your seats are um, swivel, so around the captain's seats. Obviously, again, if the table's there, you can use it. Um, I know it's a bit of a whirlwind tour. Um, hopefully, that's been informative for you, but we will be on hand tomorrow, or actually when you come to pick your vehicle up for any further questions that you have with us. Thank you for listening.